in this question we deal with an inductor the inductor voltage vl and the current il are shown here how this voltage varies with time that waveform is also given in this question okay and now we have to find the graph graph of the power uh, input to the inductor as a function of time and it is given that the initial inductor current was zero that means the current at time t equal to zero here was zero i l was zero okay uh, how do you solve this notice that we know v l is equal to l d i l by d t from here we can write that d i l by d t will be equal to v l divided by l now if we integrate this equation both the sides say 0 to any time t with respect to time dt here also integrated from 0 to t then uh, the left side will be i l t minus i l uh, 0 and the right side will be uh, integration of v l uh, 1 by l integration of v l with respect to time starting from 0 to t and that means i l t will be equal to uh, this quantity 1 over l integration v l t t from 0 to t plus i l 0 but i l 0 is 0 okay so plus nothing okay then let us first find the graph or the waveform of this current i l this is simply integration of v l starting from time 0 whole divided by the inductance okay now uh, if we integrate this graph start starting from here here this voltage is constant so if we integrate it will be a uh, uh, linearly increasing graph straight line going through the origin okay and then here to here the voltage is zero this this function is zero so if you integrate this this function will not change it will remain constant okay if this is constant then that means also here the derivative is uh, uh, zero okay so this is how the current will first increase then it will remain constant then again here it will increase uh, along a straight line like this and then again it will remain constant further it will increase and then again it will remain constant and so on okay so this graph is the graph of uh, the current I L as a function of time. Now it starts from the origin uh, zero current. How uh, much will be this current at this point? Okay, so at this point, uh, the current will be the integration of V L from here to here. That means the area of uh, this portion of the graph whole divided by L. Now how much is the area here? That is 2A into K. Okay. So uh, 2A into K. This is the area under this graph. And then whole divided by L. This is the height of this current waveform here. Similarly, how much will be the height here as you can see that it is just double of this because we, we, we have to integrate this and this 
so the area will be doubled so this height here is 4 a k by l that is this point and here it will be 6 a k by l okay that is this point so that this is the current waveform next how much is the power input electrical power input coming from outside to the inductor is uh, plt equal to this voltage into this current vl into il so now we have to multiply this graph with this graph now when we multiply these two graphs you can see here it is zero so therefore uh, if i now draw p l t okay so here it is zero so when you multiply voltage and current it will give zero here similarly here the power will be zero and uh, here the power will again be zero okay now in this region when you multiply this increasing linearly increasing graph with this uh, flat graph okay the product or the result of multiplication will just be similar to this graph okay so this will be uh, like this okay it will increase uh, like this graph and this this point will be 2 a k l multiplied by this voltage k so this point will be 2 a k l into k that is k square okay then the power will become 0 and in here it is 0 then from here to here I mean in this region if you multiply this graph and this graph okay, the result uh, will be uh, like this Uh, okay so you multiply this k with this increasing graph and the result will be like this how much will be what will be the uh, uh, power at this point it will be same as 2 a k square by l okay and how much will be the power at this point that will be this current multiplied by k so it will be 4 a k square by l after that the power will become 0 here also power is 0 now the power will remain 0 up to this point okay and then what happens uh, I now need more space to draw this uh, let me make some space uh, okay now when we multiply this current with this voltage it will uh, start from here and then it will uh, go like this okay uh, it will be like this this is the uh, power waveform and before this the power was zero after this the power is again zero what will be the uh, height at this point this will be 6 a k by l into k so it will become 6 a k square by l okay and then again if you multiply this will uh, be like this okay and so on okay then uh, so this is the waveform of power now let us draw the waveform of the energy stored in the inductor and for this we will use the expression of energy in an inductor as half l i l squared this is our familiar expression of inductor energy okay so now the current is given here 
and we have to take a square of this current and then we have to multiply that with L by 2. Okay, so let's do that. Let us first consider this flat horizontal regions in this current waveform. Okay, uh, so here the current is 2AK by L and uh, if you calculate this quantity uh, that will also be a constant uh, like this. Uh, okay, and the value here will be uh, 4a square k square by l square 4a square k square by l square multiplied by l by 2 okay so multiplied by l by 2 will make this l and a 2 here similarly if you uh, take the square of this flat region that will again be a flat region and it will be uh, higher than this of course uh, it will be somewhere here like this okay and the height here will be 16 a square k square by l square 16 a square k square by l squared but then we have uh, half L multiplied which will make it 2 into L okay then similarly if you take the square of this region that will be even taller mm, 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 uh, somewhere here maybe and uh, yeah, this height will be 36 a square k square 36 a square k square divided by L square and then this uh, L by 2 multiplied so we will have 2L okay next uh, let us now fill the uh, this uh, this regions where this current is increasing now this current here is proportional to time proportional to T so therefore uh, the energy will be proportional to T square here and the graph may look like this then in this region this will increase possibly like this it will be definitely non-linear and like this uh, increasing faster and faster and then here it will be uh, somewhat like this okay so this is the graph of inductor energy as a function of time.